hey welcome everybody in previous video we worked uh, ab, uh, on this uh, categories when we click the laptops so products relevant to laptops are displayed over here but we even click uh, when we click uh, computers or any category that does not have any product so we are getting nothing over here so for that we were uh, we created this uh, count underscore cats local variable in which we used my SQLI number uh, num underscore rows which basically counts the total records in a query and we have given this as a reference so there was no error but uh, it was not, sh not showing the I mean if statement so now we will try again count underscore cats we say if this is equal to zero that's mean there is no uh, product associated with this category so simply we will say echo and inside echo statement we will add an h2 tag we will say no products were found in this category and we will close h2 tag html tag so we were using this same thing in previous video but it was not working but uh, I have checked it it's working very fine because we don't need the else condition at this moment we only need the if uh, because if there if there would be products in the category so automatically they are uh, there is you know a while loop running and that will display all the products but if there is no product this simple message will be displayed there no products were found in this category so very simply come back replace the page and you can see no products were found in this category if you want to use some style over here for example inside the h2 take style is equal to padding use some padding for example 20 pixel so it will make it better Roll is to save and now refresh the page again. You can see no products were found in this category. You click mobile, so you will see mobile mobiles and cameras. In iPad, there is no product. iPhone, there is no product. And this is also the thing. Now, the same thing we will do uh, for brands. Just copy this whole function till here. All the function by using Control N and make some space and paste it here and we will simply change the function name from cut get to get brand pro I mean get products relevant to brands so that's very simple we'll change this to brand if it's set get brand brand ID and that brand ID we will get from this brand URL variable or get variable and then we will simply change this to brand get brand pro select from products where product get not where product brand is equal to this one I mean brand ID which is coming dynamically and run brand pro SQL IQ reconnection get brand Pro. We are just simply uh, changing the variables. Count brands. MySQLi. MySQLi num rows. Run brands underscore pro. We say count underscore brands is equal to zero. Then simply say no products were found. Uh, no products were found associated to this brand that's simple associated associated with this brand okay now we can also change this to row brand and can copy this and can paste it here again and again because the data is fetching from the table directly
yes I have pasted it and changed all the variables that was getting the data from the table and also we need to ch change this one the rest of the things are okay tell here just control s to save and we first need to actually include or call this function and this page index.php or here very simply we can do this like get brand pro this is the name of the I mean the function we have called that or here uh, inside the index page and now come here refresh the page and if you click this HP there are two HP but there is also a problem actually run brands pro uh, function line 159 numbers 159 there is a problem a uh, very small problem we can actually check out it that one 159 count brand MySQL run brand pro 159 select all from products where that in this connection here is the mistake we have a local variable run brand pro and here we have given run brands underscore pro so s is additional just remove it and control s to save come back to your browser refresh so there is no error now you click dell there is only one product associated with dell so you click something there are two products relevant to something you click sony it says no products were found associated associated with this brand you click Toshiba there is one product associated with Toshiba so the category and uh, brands are also done now we can simply add some links to this menu so if we click or here so we can come back to the home page I mean the index page so simply go to the index page and uh, scroll above first of all we will add a link to this logo as, as well we'll add a link uh, ahrap is equal to index.php so we can come back to the home page and we'll close anchor tag over here after that we can also add a link index.php to this page and uh, all products we can add uh, all underscore products that PHP link to this and we'll create in next video this video if someone wants to click I mean if someone wants to see all of our products on the website so they can and here we will uh, have a link to my account customer backslash my underscore account dot PHP this we will create later on for the customer for the customer this will be a customer's account and uh, shopping cart we will add some kind of cart.php this will be a page we will be creating just after one video one video lecture and we will add other links as well but at the time this was necessary so we created this now very simply we have saved by using control s now refresh this page we click this so we come over here so that's it we have products we have details and uh, we have you know categories we have brands we have everything over here and from the next video uh, in next video I will be teaching you about simply adding all the products if someone wants to click this all products link so we will show them all the products it's a single page and after that we will move to the cart section I mean creating the cart adding products to the cart and uh, things like that adding the items and price and things like that stay tuned till next tutorial